हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर एजुकेशन आई एम जितेंद्र त्यागी सो माय दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू सम रिक्रूटमेंट टू बी डन बाय रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया फॉर सिविल इंजीनियर्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर्स ओके एंड एलिजिबिलिटी इज फॉर डिप्लोमा होल्डर्स एज वेल एज फॉर बी होल्डर्स एंड हैविंग सम एक्सपीरियंस ओके सो लेट एस डिस्कस इन डिटेल रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इज गोइंग टू रिक्रूट फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ जूनियर इंजीनियर सिविल एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल इन रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया आर बी आई ओके एंड दिस एड इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द वेबसाइट ऑफ आर बी आई डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट आर बी आई डॉट ओ आर जी डॉट इन एंड यू कैन फाइंड दिस पी डी एफ ऑल्सो देयर एंड यू कैन रीड द कंप्लीट पी डी एफ केयरफुली ओके नाउ वॉट आर द इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट यू हैव टू अप्लाई ऑनलाइन ओके ऑन दिस वेबसाइट एंड important dates you can note down uh, the form filling will start from 9th of june and it will end on 30th of june and uh, there will be one examination throughout the nation that will be conducted on 15th of july okay date of exam is 15th of july and this is a tentative date it means it it may change right now we can see uh, the vacancies are june wise okay in different part of our nation in different areas they are going to recruit so how many zones they have made east west north south central okay there are five zones okay so uh, according to different categories number of vacancies available are present in this seat matrix and for civil and for electrical also okay number of seats in each category are given so kindly go through this table and identify number of seats in your zone in which you are interested to work and in your branch in, in your category okay now what other important points we have all these details you can read later so eligibility criteria you can see candidate must be either a citizen of india or a subject of nepal or a subject of bhutan or tibetan refugee or a person of indian origin who has migrated from pakistan burma sri lanka east african countries of kenya uganda and U united republic of tanzania okay so this eligibility criteria for nationality you have to check and uh, then age so age should be between 20 and 30 years and uh, depending upon your category there will be some relaxation in age okay so you can check now educational qualification requirement so for junior engineer civil a minimum 3 years diploma in civil is required and uh, 65% marks be there in your diploma okay and if you are having a degree then minimum percentage of marks required is 55 so it means both diploma holders and btech holders both are eligible okay and for electrical also we have same minimum 3 years diploma in electrical or electrical and electronics okay these two branches and percentage required is 65% in diploma or if you have degree to degree mein kitna 55% and some relaxation will be given to different categories like sc st pwd now in this job some experience is also required you can read here for junior engineer civil at least 2 years experience for diploma holders if you have a diploma then you must have 2 years experience minimum okay in civil work related construction work related areas and if you have a graduate degree btech degree then one year apprentice is required in a psu okay one year experience is required for degree holders and uh, same for junior engineer having diploma then two years experience is required having btech one year experience is required in execution and supervision of electrical installations in large buildings commercial buildings okay all these things you have to read now cgpa to percentage conversion formula is given here and now come to selection process scheme of selection so selection will be through online examination and language proficiency test so there will be two stages one is written examination another is lpt okay the online examination will be for 300 marks and is scheduled to be held on 15th of july 2023 so what are the different subjects english language 
so there will be 50 questions and 50 marks okay maximum marks 50 total time will be 40 minutes for engineering discipline paper 1 uh, 40 questions will be there of 100 marks and 100 minutes time duration okay for engineering discipline paper 2 again same 40 questions 100 marks 40 minute ka time then we have general intelligence and reasoning so 50 questions will be there and 50 marks and uh, 30 minutes you have we will get to solve these questions okay now the indicative syllabus for engineering discipline uh, for the two posts is available in nx4 okay you can read it later now what is this language proficiency test so after written examination they will conduct this test so they will check a local language test actually the zone in which you are applying what is the official language there in that zone so in that language they will test your efficiency okay and this will be very very important in your selection right so these were the important points regarding this and uh, rest all things are present in this pdf so i hope you can go through this and you can identify all other important points so kindly apply if you are eligible all the best